Hello YouTubers, this is a quick session where I get to show you a brand new library that uh, I deployed and developed with my dear friend Kailu, who exists here in this channel, you know, but you can't see him. Kailu, can you say hi? Hi, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so, so, Ka so Kailu and I built a small library. It's called uh, Levent. It, it stands for local event. And what Levent does is that it allows you to kind of handle uh, local events in your system. So I'm going to show you here a quick kind of description of the library and how things work. So you get to see like real time um, what the library is capable of. So if you go on to GitHub in here and you look for Levent, you can find the link for Levent in the description as well. So here's Levent. What it basically does is that you can leverage this library to kind of apply what I call the cul-de-sac pattern. So you have a student orchestration service, you're going and adding a student. And then once the student is added, you get to publish through a student event into Levent. Levent will register all of these functions. Like you can register 50 million functions, right? That are listening to a particular event. And once that event occurs, it will notify, see this, student library orchestration is listening in and it basically pushes in the event so you can do whatever you want with with the library uh the reason why uh, my friend kailu and i are here today is because i want to actually show you how this is being used in real life right so kailu and i have been working on this massive project a lot of you might have heard of it it's called git file and git file is basically a system that basically uh, analyzes the code that you're using, you know, starts to kind of uh, digest this data and process this data and do a lot of cool things with this data to give you kind of real time, you know, uh, uh, you know, kind of performance review, uh, kind of fairly treats you based on the work that you're doing and all that kind of good stuff. So here is, here's what we're going to do here. We're going to try, we're going to basically go and say, I want the architecture for a, a Git file that we're trying to implement here is to basically go and say we're doing like a whole revamp and modernization to the to the product. And what we're trying to do here is basically when someone makes, you know, a contribution, you know, you basically made a commit, whatever the case may be, the contribution comes in through a queue. So if you look down here, this is a real, real life example of a real enterprise system. You know, a digestion service will put a message on the queue. Uh, the contribution queue will basically propagate that event. That's a message that's coming from a queue. And then the contribution event orchestration service will basically verify that this is a trusted source. And then it will go and persist that contribution in, in a database. It propagates that event all the way upstream here, where it goes and says, go ahead and collect and see if this is a complete effort. So an effort is basically someone's contributions in a given pull request. So if you created a pull request, if, if Hassan and Kailu are pairing with each other, right? And we, if we created a pull request, that pull request is multiple efforts based on how many people have contributed to this. The, the, the sum of the contributions for each and every individual, right? Grouped up together under a, a, a an engineer right so okay so we go and you know and basically pull efforts with contributions we verify that the effort with contributions is uh, complete so an effort or a pull request comes in and says there's 20 20 commits are these 20 commits fully you know kind of processed and completed in here and once that's the case we basically go and say okay let's verify that this uh, profile effort contribution broker is actually persisted have we actually already logged this before? Is this a duplication of data? Is this something that we haven't accounted for? And if that's not the case, we go persist this profile contribution, and then we send an event downstream for whatever is listening to this. So today, Kailu and I are going to basically start building this piece. So this event top, it's actually Levent in here because it's a local a, a a local library a, a local event handler and what we want to build here is the event broker 
I thought the best way to kind of show you how this library works is a real life, uh, real enterprise system that you can actually take a look at and see how it works. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into get file in here and I'm going to go into the publishing piece of this. And I'm going to start and I'm going to do a new branch in here. This is users. Don Habib. Brokers. Publish a profile effort contribution. So all what we really want to do we want to be able to go and say, and let me also kind of uh, increase the screen size in here so people can actually see what's what's going on. So let me do this. Here's 150%. And then let me go back to uh, StreamYard. Yeah, this should be a little bit more visible to people. Kylo, you can see my screen okay, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Now, what I really want to do, so now I have this uh, brokers piece. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to call it events. So this is going to be your events broker. And then under that events broker, I'm going to create, this, just like anything else, it's it's like an interface. So this is I event broker. And, oh, did you did you notice like in the preview version of Visual Studio, it's giving you the public instead of saying internal. That's that's refreshing, right? That's a good thing, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add in a class in here. So I'm gonna say event broker. So this is also in here. That's great. And then on top of all of this, I need to install the Levent library. So let's see if it's indexed and it's ready to be kind of pulled in. I I built it in .NET six because that's stable. But as soon as .NET seven is released we're gonna probably push it or maybe just um uh, maybe we could just uh basically there it is levent uh we could also um uh, make it uh, .NET standard right so kailu this is your, the first the first new git package that you have your name on it what do you think about that it's pretty cool right <laughs> pretty cool yep yep thank thank you for doing this by the way this is amazing um okay so let's go back here install this and then let's do this. Uh, let's go here. What is this guy complaining about? Nothing. He's complaining about nothing. Okay. So how are we going to do this? We need to be able to go and say for every event that's running, we need to instantiate a, a, a property on that queue that will basically allow us to kind of uh, uh, boot it up, right? Like start it up. And don't worry. I kind of give everyone like examples in here let me kind of shift shift the focus over actually let me let me just show it to people first and then i'll tell them hey you know i'm not taking your code away you know there's actually a good example in here that you can take a look at and and kind of learn from and all that okay so step number one we are pushing events just like storage brokers we're pushing events for a a, a profile effort contribution right so i'm gonna go down here and say here's my interface and i'm going to go and say i event broker dot profile effort contributions just like how we do with the apis how we do with the with the storage broker it's simple it's easy to understand you can deal with it you know it's something that you are already familiar with that's the beauty of the standard it, it sticks to its rules so you know exactly what you're walking into and what you need to work with okay so now i can go and say void publish Profile effort contribution. And this is really all I have to do for here. I'm going to go and say publish this profile effort contribution. And that's exactly what I'm pushing in here. Profile effort contribution just like this. How long is this guy? 100, 100 lines of code? That's okay. The 100 uh, characters? I think that's okay. Uh, now, you know, the publish, actually, the publish event is, is asynchronous, isn't it? So this is value task. The registration is is not asynchronous. The publish, so it's async like this. Okay, so value task, publish profile effort contribution. Okay. Now, let's go on to the implementation of this. Like this. And let's go do that. Let's go and say uh, event broker dot profile effort 
contribution. I know that uh, StreamYard doesn't show uh, the uh, you create a new dialog for for God knows why reason, but it is the case. So this is partial in here, like this. I have this profile effort contribution here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a prop like this, right? I'm gonna go and say uh, 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 the i client uh, i live event client i live event client, and this live event client will have the profile effort contribution within it, like this. This is profile effort contribution events okay how big is this guy 102 that's great okay perfect if i go and inherit from here i event broker and ask me to implement this guy i'm going to take this guy and put it in the in the proper partial class which is right right here just like we do the storage broker, it's exactly the same pattern. There's no magic there. Okay. Now, if I go up in here, I can easily just go like this and say await this dot profile effort contribution events dot publish event async. And it already knows the type because I already defined the type in here. So this is also very straightforward. This is over 125. I kind of had a feeling that it's too big. So, okay, so let's do it this way. Let's break that in here. Let's do a return. And then let's break it a little bit further. Actually, it doesn't care about a return because it's not, it's not returning anything. It's basically saying publish, fire and forget kind of thing. Okay, so here's our guy. Right, so that's just that. But what does instantiate this guy something needs to instantiate this guy so in the constructor in here all we have to do is just find these guys and instantiate them just like that with event client now i basically instantiated this uh this particular property and now i can access that property and start kind of you know sending things just the exact same way if you look at a storage broker in here so here's your storage broker. If you look at the contributions, the exact same thing. You're basically defining a property and you're using that property to do things. The same thing happens with the queues. If you look at a, a, a queue listener, you're basically going and saying, uh, here is my a contribution queue. Here is my uh, a, a property. And I'm using that property to kind of do things how do I instantiate this property? Go back in here and you'll find that every property that you have is initialized already, just like that. It's exactly the same thing. No difference there. Okay. So the pattern here is super consistent. This is These are the applications that I kind of spend most of my time in. I try to make sure that these applications follow the standard and all that kind of good stuff. Now that I can do that, now I can go up in here and say, well, now I feel like I implemented this just as simple as this. I implemented a, a, a local event, right? And this event broker will be able to kind of publish uh, profile effort contributions async. So I'm going to commit this. I'm going to say brokers publish profile effort contribution. And then I'm going to go ahead and push all of this and then let's go on to the um let's go on to github to create to create a pull request here's git file git file core and then I'm gonna go and create this broker. It says publish profile effort contribution. And then let's just take a quick look here just to see what we did. I basically instantiated the client. You're publishing an event asynchronously and everything else is just, it's just very, very simple and very, very straightforward, okay? So this is all done. I'm gonna merge this in. And then I also want to implement the other 
the other capability, even though we don't necessarily need it specifically for this uh, particular scenario that we're trying to implement, I'm going to do it in here just to show people, you know, how we're using this and how we're implementing this. So I'm going to go back to get file core in here. I'm going to go back to master. I'm going to basically synchronize all my commits. Here we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other capability. The other capability in this local events is going to be like this. I'm going to go in here and say, you know, this one here is actually a void. This is truly a void. And it should probably come before the publish anyway. So we're going to go and do void. And then this is listen to a profile contribution event. Okay, and what this guy takes, it takes a funk that uh, uh, takes in a profile effort contribution as an input parameter and returns a value task. So you're going to have to kind of comply by this rule in order for things to work out for you, right? And I'm going to call this profile effort contribution event handler. So this is my interface. I'm going to break this a, bit, a little bit in here, and I'm going to also break the other one a little bit in here. Profile effort contribution event handler and this profile. I'm going to just create an, a, a quick branch in here just to kind of on a B brokers uh, profile effort contribution. Listen. All right. So now I want to go and implement this guy. So I'm just going to do control period. It's going to give me the basic implementation. I'm going to take this back onto uh the implementation for profile effort contributions i'm going to move this down by one and then i'm going to go and say well just register this guy for me so it's going to be uh this profile effort contribution and then register event register event handler and that's it that's all i have to do i'm registering this event handler it's going to take this and keep track of all the event handlers like you could have 20 event handlers it doesn't matter every time you call this it's going to register all of these event handlers and then when you publish a profile it's going to you know kind of fan out it's going to send it over to all of them okay if you want to so, so okay so this is the implementation let's let me just rebuild this real quick just to make sure things are working proper Okay, so this is this guy. That's perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and commit this as well. So this is a broker. And then I'm going to say, listen to profile effort contribution uh, uh, events. Just like that. So I'm going to push this upstream. And then I'm going to go back to GitHub. Let's go to GitHub here real quick. Hey, Lou, your mic uh, is, are you hitting something with your mic? Are you eating? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Do something? Yeah, something was like knocking on your mic, something like that. Okay. okay. Anyway, so this is the the profile effort contribution event handler. You're listening to a profile effort contribution event, right? So, okay, so I have this in there. Let's merge this in. Okay, now we need to... The next step to this is to basically go and say, now that I have this broker, I want to be able to publish to that event, right? So this is full utilization of this event. I'm going to go down here and mark this as green. And then we need to have this a uh, profile effort contribution event service. Kailu, do you want to instantiate this one? Kick off the, this one? Yeah. All right, I'm switching back to your screen. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, there you are. I'm on your okay. screen now. Okay, are you able to see? Yep, see I can see your screen. Okay. Yep, it's perfect, yep. Okay. 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 
So you should have like a like an events broker somewhere in there. There it is. Do you see it? And this is merge from master. Yeah, so now we have the thing. Nice. And foundations. So this will be a profile effort contribution events. Perfect. For those of you who never heard of Kailu, has been working with me for the last three and a half years, four years. You know, we we continue to develop Git file, a system for everybody, something that can help engineers know where they are, where they're headed. You know, all these awesome things that we do uh, in these systems. So here we go. Okay, let's start with the publish, right? So we can go and say uh, uh, publish profile effort contribution, which is, which is a synchronous value, value task. Async. Yep. Async. Yep. Async. Um, It's in a punk, right? Yep. No, no, this one just takes a profile effort contribution. The listen one is the one that takes one. Yeah. It just takes a it, it just takes a profile effort contribution. Okay. Yep. Perfect. So in this one, we just need the, the event broker and the, uh, I think the logging broker, I think that's it, right? It's annoying. I event broker. Oh. I keep going, just ignore it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Contribution event. Yep. So 
So you want to mock this one, right? So mock I event broker and yeah. This is a nice special way to do. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we could take. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, this is a filler. Uh, you could you could copy the one from. Uh, yeah, that could work. Let's take this one. That one is okay. Yep. You're gonna need the. Uh, this guy. Yeah. This guy. Awesome. So random number, the time offsets. This guy. Right. Oh. This guy. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. This one? Oh yeah, that one. Yep, yep, yep. I'm with you. Yep. Okay. This is a uh, logic publish, that's right. I think we have deep clone and everything. Uh since yeah. we're not since we're not returning anything, it doesn't matter, right? Like you won't have you won't have published profile effort contribution or anything like that. Like the only thing that you will have is basically hey, I'm just firing an event. I don't care what happens next. So That's your input. Yep. Mm 
Yep, that's it. You won't need anything else because the because because the, yeah, it doesn't return anything. It's just a value task. And let's do it. Yep. 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 Now we need to verify. Nice. Perfect. Yep. Looks like a failing test for me. Let's run it. Let's see. Should we just assume that it failed? <laughs> we definitely could. <laughs> Perfect. So, so this is so, guys. This is a failing test for uh, publishing an event, right? It's just, just gonna go ahead in here and you know, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an end-to-end -end example, just so everybody could kind of. This is just me showing you the, you know, how we're actually using it in real life. Like <clears throat> probably a couple of sessions, you know, after this, you know, we'll be able to have the entire pipeline, and you'll be able to see. You know the you know using this Levent library to do a full cul-de-sac pattern, you know across. Um, but this is this is real life application just to see how I'm incorporating this. But if you actually go to the Levent uh, uh, source control uh, source code, uh, you will see also an example which I'm going to show you in a second. So let me just switch back to this stream. Yeah, I'm taking your screen now, okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of share Visual Studio. Here we go. I'm gonna pull latest. Here we go. Okay. And I should be having like a failing test right now. So let's go here. Let me run this. All right, and let's see here, okay. Uh, oh yeah, you created a new branch, right? Yep. Okay, so your branch will be foundations, uh, profile, effort, contribution, there you are. It's almost like if you have like a, a standard in, in the naming convention, you can easily kind of cut down the time of spinning around in circles trying to find what your branch is called and all that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's run all of this. It's called sticking to the plan. Stick to the plan, that's right. No matter what, all the way. All right, there it is. This is the failing test, which is awesome. Uh, now I can basically kind of. So, so just for the people watching, usually like my strategy is I try to keep anything inside my method within that limit as much as possible. Sometimes it's impossible to do it, you know, but as much as possible. So I'm gonna go just go ahead and try to make I lose test. Pass. I'm gonna go here and say here is and I broke to a new line. I'm gonna go here and say wait this dot event broker dot publish profile effort contribution and basically you're passing it. Just sweet and simple. There's no magic, no entanglement. You're basically going and saying, I'm leveraging this external system to kind of give me that kind of uh, capability. Of course. 
you know, Kailu and I will continue these sessions. First of all, we need to validate these. Um, uh, we need to validate all of these. Uh, uh, now the test is passing. That's great. Uh, we need to validate this profile effort contribution, right? We just need to know whether it's null or not. We don't care about the rest of it because it's not really a persistence layer. It's more like here is an event. As long as the event in general makes sense, then go ahead and process it. So at this level here, we validate what we care about in this way. Now, just to kind of give people the best possible value out of a stream like this, I'm going to show you uh, an actual example of Levent as a project and i want to show you an existing example you know that that's already included in source control that you can take advantage of today just to see how the system works so the example that i have for you here is basically so that th this first portion kind of shows you hey this is how you can leverage levent in your system super easy and simple you can do it today right now what's the end result what do you see at the end when something like this happened. Now, let me show you here what that looks like. Here is here is Levent. Here is the the screen right there. OK, here we go. So here's the deal. Let's open this in solution mode first. And then I want to make sure I have the latest and greatest because sometimes I just go publish things and change things a little bit differently. This is the actual source code of Levent. Because it's standard compliant, like this subsystem itself is standard compliant, probably the, some of the cleanest so far because it follows all the new standardizations and everything. Every single one of these dependencies actually has its own exceptions. You'll see all different kinds of exceptions coming out of these. So it's gonna be very easy, you know, kind of transcend exceptions from standard compliant system onto a standard compliant system right but what i'm really trying to show you here is that you'll find a project in here called um uh, levent tests manual right and this levent test manual does basically this it goes and says here's a bunch of here's an here's an event here's an object that i care about and here's an event broker this event broker is basically built exactly the exact same way Kylo and I just built our own event broker. We have student event broker. We created a client. We then said, give me a publish and give me a register event. So far, so good, right? So now on the program level, I'm creating this student service. I have student library service and I have a student event service. Okay, so the student service will be doing the publishing. The student library will be doing the listening and the student event will be doing both the, the publishing and listening. So it's give, it's offering both options, right? Ideally, you would want an orchestration service that kind of handles that. So check out what our orchestration service here does. If you look at this orchestration service, you'll see that when a new student is added, it goes and adds a student in storage. And then it goes and says, go ahead and publish that event, which is what orchestration services are supposed to do, right? You take an event, you publish it, you kind of persist it, and then you publish it. So you're doing, you know, kind of fanning out so you can roll back and issues like this happen. You can do it all the time. But also, once that's published, it's published through a student event service. You will notice that we have something here called student library orchestration service, which is actually listening in on that event. So anytime that event comes in, it will go and say, register student library card. Okay, so register student library card, go ahead and register that. Ideally, this would be asynchronous. This is why I had to compensate with value task, completed task, but ideally, you would have something asynchronous as, as it's a best practice and it's highly advised, right? So this is it. I'm gonna push in Kailuhu as a student. I'm gonna take that student and publish it. I'm gonna first register the listener and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish uh, that student and we'll see what happens, right? I'm gonna run the system like this. Oh, actually I need to set that as a startup project. So here it is, set as start a project and then I'm going to run this real quick 
And here is my console application. And here is the uh, records. Let me show you here. Here's the records that show up out of this. Look. So Kailuhu was added. Kailuhu library card was registered. So it published, added, and then it, it published an event. The interesting thing here is that the student library service and the student service don't know anything about each other. They're completely separated from each other because the pattern that's happening in here, like I, you know, I, I showed you in the uh, in the example, is that your student in Levant, the student that you are working with, or the student library, the student service seat. So you have this orchestration service. You added a student in some broker. We don't care what it is, and then it came back to us. So it went and published that event. Now, this event can propagate back to its listeners. It can be many, many of them. And these listeners will basically pick this up and basically notify. Go ahead and notify the student library service. You'll see all the examples you need. You'll see all the details you need about this library. So this is the scaling part that I was talking about. Imagine if you have many, many, many of these listeners. Each one of them has their own orchestrations. And they're basically listening to that event and basically so the things that stay are these this structure here stays the same but all the events that are coming from here are going to basically propagate and go up into all of these subscribers right now with that being said this is not the end levent is just a very small step in many many steps that we're going to take to kind of standardize eventing that's happening in in our system what that basically means is that you're going to run into situations where you know you can trigger an event from the outside Levent will kind of merge with a another library called lake you uh, to kind of ensure that you can pretend to be listening to a queue when in reality you're just standing up a phantom queue on your local machine so you can run your entire infrastructure in uh, the the uh, airplane or offline mode, right? You can run your entire infrastructure the way you, the exact same way it runs in the cloud without any issues whatsoever. The next step to that is to kind of integrate that into your acceptance test. So you could have a library that can actually structure this whole thing for you and then hooks up into an API and then listens in into whatever incoming uh, data that's coming into that API to pretend that there is a queue coming. There's a lot of fun, fun, fun things that are coming uh, very soon, but for the time being, uh, we're using this in a real life project like Git file to basically go and say, once I've had all the collection of data that I need, now I can go and, you know, asynchronously, right, in parallel, I can basically go and say, go ahead and calculate the rank, go ahead and calculate uh, this person's uh, how many projects they worked on, uh, what's their current title according to their code contribution, you know, all the different things that you can imagine are all running in parallel without uh, any of them having to know anything about uh, the other. And then all of them kind of gets aggregated and materialized into one view. And that view is basically what you see on the screen when you navigate uh, to Git file. So anyway, Kylo and I, we're going to continue to kind of push through this and uh, incorporate this. This is why I built this library. It's actually not not something I'm just doing for fun. I'm actually needing it, you know, in real life projects uh, to kind of be able to kind of have this fanning in, fanning out kind of uh, pattern happen simply within, within the umbrella of the standard. Uh, I hope you found this uh, session a little bit useful, you know, uh, a little bit insightful. Uh, if you decide to use Levent, please share your experience with the standard community or just simply just reach out you know however way you want uh, you want to reach out to me and uh, if you have any questions or comments or concerns as usual feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in another video thank you so much take care